All day yesterday, we celebrated Back to the Future Day, and last night, they rolled out the red carpet for the stars of the beloved films for a special 30th anniversary screening. Fans of all ages lined up around the block to watch, along with Marty, Doc, and Lorraine, and our team. They were there to experience a frenzy surrounding the classic blockbuster. kind of a big nerd when it comes to this movie and only this movie. I dress as Marty for Halloween a lot of years. You control your future and your destiny so you have to go out and make it a good one. It surprised me uh, about 15 years ago when I realized that it, that it was going to last and then and it's lasted now all these years. 30 years after the opening of a film that's still like hopefully night. It means something more to them than just uh, just a, a show. It's, it's part of their lives, and, and, and that's that's an amazing privilege as an actor. You don't get that many chances to make that kind of connection. It's a mashup of all these different genres that just plays through almost effortlessly. I found my father's high school yearbook when I was visiting my parents. My father, I discovered, had been the president of his graduating class, and I wondered, wow. I didn't like the president of my graduating class. If I had gone to school with my dad, would I have been friends with him? And that's when lightning struck. It's really exciting that people are out here, that you guys are out here. Thank you. And you still want to watch the movie and share it with your family. It's an iconic film, and words can't even begin to describe how amazing it is. I'm Marty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just visiting, just for a couple hours. I hear there's a secret that Nike's gonna really come out with those shoes. Are those are those the self-lacing Nikes? Fashion that didn't make it from the 80s that you wish had made it. I'm still into the big hair. <laughs> Check it out. Big hair. Not giving it up. <laughs> My kids make fun of me because when I when I when I talk about uh, the the iPod. Yeah. I, I call it I call it a, a Walkman. <laughs> and they, 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 they like, just roll their heads, roll their eyes. And... Walkman, I remember Walkman were, 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 were really advanced technology. You have to flip the tape over, oh. rewind it. Oh, it was pathetic. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. That was really cool. Hoverboards. Hoverboards. I mean, we just drove here from Brooklyn right. for the Kimmel Show. It took us an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. Hoverboard, I could have been here in about 10. Probably the hoverboard. hoverboard. I like the hoverboard. So you got the fishtail design, I see. How does it taste? I don't know, I'm not gonna open it. I just guess gonna have to guess about it. I, I'm curious, but at the same time, I'm not trying to open it. It probably tastes terrible now if it's from back then. Though. Yeah, probably, definitely, but uh, yeah, it's perfect still. The DeLorean is a legendary vehicle in my, in my mind, so that's a key player. What, if you could ask Doc one question, what would it be? How does it feel to know so much from so many different time periods? What caused him to slip and bump his head? Because that's what. Because had he not slipped and fall, he never would have come up with the thought of the flux capacitor. You know, like he's a genius ahead of his time, really, <laughs> ahead of many times. Go somewhere on the field, knock the ball down out of one of the guy's hands, and just let the Mets win tonight. That's all. What do you say to haters on the uh, of the third movie? How could anyone hate that Christopher Lloyd, Doc Brown, finds love? Will the Cubs come back from 3-0 to down? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's going to happen. It's 2015. There's, there's no reason for it not to happen. It's 2015. You have to root for the Cubs. And straight three called. And the Mets are on their way back. Oh, well, we got all, some things, right? Yeah, some things. But there were, that was interesting, though, that the Cubs got so close to yeah. this uh, to this premonition, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. But you know, The foreign correspondent with me wants to know what Doc felt when they got Gaddafi. Are the Libyans still chasing him? That we find out in Back to the Future 4 when oh. they capitalize on all of this, oh. stuff, which they should do all very right. soon. Coming up, saving for the future. And you won't need a DeLorean. We'll explain. <laughs>